Item number SCP 086 JP Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP 086 JP is carefully preserved in a dual lock containment chamber in Biological Site 8102. All personnel entering the containment chamber are required to wear protective suits and undergo sterilization upon leaving the chamber. Individuals who enter the chamber are to be quarantined for seven days to ensure that there is no infection. One instance of SCP-086-JP-1 is currently contained for a long-term experiment. Food and other supplies are to be provided via robotic arms. Psychological evaluation is to be conducted once a week. Considering the influence on the psychological evaluation, this instance is allowed to request for a few entertainment materials and amenities, which are to be provided accordingly. In preparation for a possible new outbreak and epidemic of SCP-086-JP, electroencephalography screenings are to be conducted on randomly selected civilians. See Addendum 086-B for details. In the event that an instance of SCP-086-JP-1 is detected, the surrounding area is to be closed, and Mobile Task Force 36, the morticians, is to recover all SCP-086-JP infected individuals and SCP-086-JP-1 instances. Following the recovery, SCP-086-JP-1 instances are to be euthanized and their bodies are to be incinerated. Description Note that a fundamental part of our research may have been influenced by SCP-086-JP. Dr. Beep SCP-086-JP is a strain of renovirus. Like other renoviruses, it causes mild common cold symptoms such as headaches, nasal congestions, and coughs in the early stages of infection. Although it is curable at this stage, more than 90% of infected individuals progress to the next stage. Approximately one week after infection, the multiplying SCP-086-JP enters the bloodstream and reaches the brain, where it begins to destroy brain tissue. The symptoms consistent with the common cold have mostly improved at this stage, and the infected subject may experience only a mild headache. Over about one week, SCP-086-JP completely destroys the brain tissue. While the subject is no longer symptomatic, after this stage, SCP-086-JP remains in the body and can be transmitted to others through their bodily fluids. Subjects in this condition are designated as SCP-086-JP-1 instances. Despite the fact that SCP-086-JP-1's brain has been destroyed and has completely lost its functions. No brain waves have been detected in SCP-086-JP-1's brain, and it is not physically in a functional state. It has retained all of its previous memories, personality, motor skills, and other characteristics. No differences between SCP-086-JP-1 and a pre-infected personality have been noted in any tests, and SCP-086-JP-1 has been determined to respond normally to substances acting on the brain and to physical injuries. A long-term experiment with a D-class personnel is in progress. No change has been observed in the time of this writing even deep years after their infection. This may have been a result of mimicry by SCP-086-JP proliferating in the infected individual's body, especially in the cranium, but it has not been confirmed. SCP-086-JP was discovered in Beep when an instance of SCP-086-JP-1 underwent an electrical encephalogram test following a traffic accident. Subsequent investigations revealed that Beep residents in the vicinity of Beep were also SCP-086-JP-1 instances, leading into containment by the Foundation. All instances were euthanized 
after containment. In addition, Isolenza requests were accepted for Beep Foundation personnel, including head researcher Beep, who were infected with SCP 86 JP in the early stages of their containment, as well as their family members who were confirmed to be infected. I have no awareness and cannot prove it, but I probably am no longer myself. I appreciate your acceptance of my request. I'm just sorry for what I did to my family. Dr. Beep.